Hi everybody, welcome back to Rust. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Archon and Rust Admin. You know, what do they mean? What, why do you need them? You know, what can you do? What sort of commands can you do with these? Um, because if you're new to Rust, then you're new to Rust private server modding or plugins. You're probably th pulling your hair out at the moment going, oh, it's so complicated, there's all this stuff to do. Trust me though, the beauty of the framework that Facepunch have put into place with Rust and their plugin system means that although it's a bit complicated to start off with, once you get used to it, it's very, very powerful and reliable. An Archon is simply the phrase that describes how you can, as the admin, talk to your server remotely, remote connection. Now, if you're coming from day Z modding, you might, and server modding, you might, well, what are you talking about? Well, because we didn't really have the ability to do this with day Z server, at least I don't think we can, but with Rust and the way that the Rust servers work is, you know, like, um, remember when you type, a, uh, you, you go into your, um, you go into your command line on your co computer, you can say DIR, and it will show you a directory. Well, you can do similar stuff with your, with your, um, with your Rust uh, private server. Um, but to do with playing the game of Rust. And so Archon is just, th is just that protocol, remote connection. The way you actually do it is through using a program like Rust Admin, which is a free program. Um, you know, I recommend you, you know, support the, the people who've done it. Um, and Rust Admin is the program that you put all your details into and it connects to your Nitrado Rust private server and kind of does a handshake and then you can then start typing things in. Now I've, I've done a video about how to do this and I'll put that in the description down below. Have I already said that in the video? I don't know, it's all a bit confusing. <laughs> but anyway, that's how it does it. And then once you've got this installed and once you've got it set up, you'll see something like this. And it looks a bit, you know, you do your configuration and then you connect. And then what you do is you click down here on console and this is where down here, right at the bottom, we can type things in. So we can type things in such as global dot status. If I can type, it says, let me, let me come a bit closer because I can't see the screen. Here we go. Global dot status. I think my keyboard might be getting a bit dodgy actually. Here we go. And there we can see right at the bottom it tells us um, version 2223 secure, map, procedural map, players 0 from 50, 0 queued, 0 in joining, and it gives us uh, ID name ping connected right okay so you know it tells us and then we can we can listen in if you like as the server's doing its thing and it's telling us all sorts of stuff so hopefully that kind of shows you you know what we're doing we're typing commands in that, that are going to the to going to the server and the server's listening to those commands and sending us some information back if, if what we're typing in is correct now the reason why you need this is because when you go to umod um, the place for Rust mods, for Rust plugins, and you install them and you follow the instructions, sometimes those instructions will say that you need to do certain actions via Archon. You need to do them via uh, the console, via Rust admin. You can't use them via the F1 console in-game. A good example of that is if you install the whitelist mod, in, mod, the whitelist plugin, where you have to be able to um, use Archon and Rust Admin to talk to your server through that to set up the whitelist for the players who are going to be coming onto your server. So the other thing you may want to look at is, you know, you can look at um, the different commands. So here, here's a list of different commands you could do. Now I'm not going to go through these because lots of them are very complicated and they're very powerful and some of them are quite dangerous about what you can do with your server but just know that that now you kind of understand understand what archon is the fact that you know remote connection to your server the fact that you use um rust uh, admin to talk to your server and you'll need it because some mods and plugins will require you to talk to your server using that method and this, remember, this is just the beginning. As you learn more and more and become more advanced, you'll be doing you, you, this block will become second, second nature, and uh, you'll learn more and more about what to do. Okay, so hopefully that's a nice little beginner's introduction to 
Archon and Rust Admin and, and why you need it, what it does, that sort of stuff. Um, if you found the video useful, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more of the same, and I'll see you again soon.